1960s, and this is very recently, that is to say within the last 30 years, a mass of inscriptions, that is to say texts written on stone in the local languages in the Arabian Peninsula have been discovered, dozens and dozens of them, which have proven that this really took place. Some of them include Hebrew, some of them refer to these Arabs as the people of Israel. Uh, it is an extraordinarily well-documented phenomenon now, but 40 years ago it wasn't. So I think this is why it's not very well known, uh, or wasn't very well known, um, though it was to people who specialized in Arab historiography. It is of great importance because this happened in the early 6th century, that is to say around 523, 4, 5, uh, with background before that, the Jewish conversion, uh, the, the Arabs becoming uh, Jews goes back a hundred years earlier, but the events that led to the story that I'm telling of the conflict with the Christians in Ethiopia are largely in the early 6th century. And this is of great importance because it's in the Arabian Peninsula, it's just south of the area where Muhammad was. And it's only a few decades before he was born. So you were getting a background of Arab culture, adopted Jewish culture, conflict with Christians who lived on the other side of the Red Sea, all in the decades just before Muhammad. Uh, 